Judge ordered prominent pastor Ralph West to pay a woman he allegedly gave herpes $2.4 million. Abigail Dye has more. Back in 2017, I know that you say West reached out to you on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Let's start there. What happened? <laughs> Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit Food episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I'm going to play in just a second a clip of a woman who gives a testimony of a Christian pastor giving her herpes. But I want you to keep in mind, if this woman is a law-abiding righteous woman why would she lay down with the so-called man of the cloth or man of god now there's two ways that you can take this because there's always two sides to the story and in this case the woman is getting you know the position to tell the story and that to be perceived as the truth she's going to talk about sharing her values beliefs her morals her spirituality and being in ministry but how do you know that if this woman was already living in transgression that she didn't set a snare for this man how can you rule that out you know we see it in this daytime and hour that Christian pastors are being exposed for their evil works. And I'm not discrediting this if he did give this woman uh, this STI or STD. But we see it in this daytime and hour that a woman can claim to be very spiritual, have all this relationship with the Most High, and pretty much target pastors. How do we know what her sexual history looks like? And is she a righteous set apart woman abiding by the law, statutes, commandments and precepts of the most high? Or is she simply spinning the narrative and pinning it on this pastor? The most high Yah is the one with the answers. But in the meantime, check this out. Let me know what your take is from it is in the comments we see that the court system that says in god we trust does not follow the laws of the most high yah if you're new to the channel hit that like button subscribe and let me know what you think about this down in the comments i'm sticking with the most high yah knows the truth contrary to what man says yeah back in 2017 um i had received several notifications um from him um some of them were like pokes things of that nature mm -hmm. um i eventually responded and then you know from there he introduced himself i didn't know of him i didn't know of anything that he did didn't know of the ministry um and then that's when he told me you know he knew He'd been watching me for a while and that he was a fan of mine and we kind of just hmm. conversed and went from there. Yeah. So just kind of an online back and forth relationship. When did it turn from that into a physical relationship? Um, so from we conversed uh, via social media, I'll say about a month um, mm -hmm. and then during within that month's time, he wanted to exchange and talk more telecommunication um phone you know yeah um so from just the social media we ended up having telephone conversations and then from there we started dating and we dated about two years and so 
while you were talking, you said you didn't know he was a pastor or anything, but obviously during that time, you figured that out and you ended up attending a church service. Mm -hmm. Did, I mean, was the fact that he was a man of God, was that part of what drew you to him? Are you strong in your faith? So I am strong in my faith. Um, my family have a, I came from a very Christian background. Mm -hmm. um, I did not know he was a pastor prior to him, you know, reaching out. Reaching out and everything, yeah. Um, so we learned about each other over the course of time. Um, yeah. I'm used to being in ministry, and so I won't say, you know, that drew me to him because he, you know, my background is ministry, so I'm not... You know, it 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 it, it, it was like what it is. Yeah. What it is. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like it almost gives you like a sense of trust in someone. Yes. When you have similar backgrounds and you Correct. believe in the same things. Correct. And so, around that time, like in 2017, is that when you became the relationship turned sexual? Y'all started having intercourse? I would say somewhere around there, yeah. yeah. I don't re recall the dates exactly, but yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so it was a real relationship. You yes. guys were we together. We actually dated, um, yeah. and then from there, yes. Yeah, and so we do actually have um, a soundbite from his uh, deposition okay. that he gave. He said that he never recalled having a conversation with you about STIs mm -hmm. or any diseases at all. We'll go ahead and uh, go to that soundbite. Do you recall whether you told her during the spring of 2017 that um, you did not have any sexually transmitted diseases? I don't recall telling her that. Do you recall her asking you about that? No. Okay, so he says that y'all never had the conversation about STIs. Did you have the conversation about STIs? Yes, we had the conversation. Um, we, he said he didn't recall. Um, and during that deposition, he almost didn't recall anything. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, yeah. we definitely, uh, we exchanged morals, we exchanged beliefs, we, you know, and then we had those conversations. Yeah, just like any couple does. Correct. And I will say, you are right about the deposition. Um, I think every question asked, mm -hmm. nearly every question asked, he said he didn't recall. Right, yeah. So, um, take me to the point where you realized you had contracted an STI. Okay. So, um, one thing about me, um, I kind of know my body, you know, mm -hmm. and if something within my health is out of the norm, I, I could pretty pinpoint that. Yeah. Um, so after one of our, you know, course of events, um, I started to notice that something just was not right. And how long had y'all been like sexually active at this point? Like had it been a while? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this was someone who you really felt like you trusted. Yeah, it was and just him, and yeah. I was in a relationship with him, yeah. Yeah, not mm -hmm. even a second thought about it. Yeah, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, go on, so you yeah, started so I noticed, feeling... Yeah, something wasn't right um, within a matter of days, and so I immediately made an appointment, um, and while waiting for my appointment, I even informed him, you know, something is just not right, you know? Yeah, um, just like you would with a boyfriend, yeah. you know? And so, um, after going to the doctor, um, they were able to determine by blood work that I was recently exposed um, mm. and that I had the antibodies in my system. Wow. Mm -hmm. What was that like for you? I mean, what was your reaction? I was blank. I was scared um, because I didn't, I didn't know exactly what all come with that. I didn't know what yeah. to expect. I didn't know how it would affect my life. Um, mm -hmm. And then I just felt very, you know, shamed, kind of, you know, it was just very uneasy. During that time, I was into modeling. Um, mm -hmm. And so just not, it, I wasn't a person that had self-esteem issues at all. Yeah. So yeah. at that, during that little period of time, you know, that did affect me mentally, you know, um, emotionally and, you know, so yeah. Mm 